This episode of Comedy Bang Bang is brought to you by Pod Swag. Are you looking for more ways to celebrate the best, funniest, and most entertaining digital content around? Well, Podswag offers a wide range of clothing, accessories, and novelty items courtesy of all of your favorite podcasts, including this one. That's right. We have several Comedy Bang Bang t-shirts, U2 t-shirts, so many different types of swag related to these podcasts. They work with the artists to create high-quality products that you want to see, and it's a great way to show support for the podcast that you love. So go take a look. Pick up some swag from your favorite show with everything from graphic tees and snapback hats to stickers, posters, enamel pins. You are sure to find something that you love. And remember, keep checking back in because they are releasing brand new products all the time. It's all available at podswag.com. That is podswag.com. Come by the house and take a shit. Come by the house and take a shit. Come by the house and take a shit. Welcome to Comedy Bang Bang. <laughs> ah, thanks to Pepsi for that catchphrase submission. Uh, oh, the Pepsi Corporation getting involved. Um, I believe they were a sponsor quite a few years back, and now they've taken to submitting catchphrases. Always appreciate that from my favorite cola, Pepsi. Thank you so much for that catchphrase submission. Come by and take a shit. Come by and take a shit. Come by and take a shit. Thank you, Pepsi, for that. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Comedy Bang Bang for another week, and this is exciting. My name is Scott Ackerman. I'm your host, and uh, what a show we have today. I mean, uh, we normally have a random selection of people, uh, but today we're doing a show that is all about uh, the theme, if I had to pull one together, is all about people and what they think. <laughs> And that's that's exciting because we're going to talk to three people and hear about what they think. And that's uh, we're, we're starting to do these theme shows. So uh, that's very exciting. A little later on the show, we will have a 20-something. Oh, that's great. I love to talk to the young people. And uh, – then we will also have a whistleblower coming up a little later. But this is exciting uh, for me personally because I love the arts uh, in general. Uh, and uh, our next guest, certainly uh, her job definitely falls within that banner. She is an author. Uh, I don't know of what, but we will certainly be talking to her about that. Please welcome to the show Dorothy Charles. Hello, Dorothy. How are you? How are you doing, Scott? I'm good, baby. <laughs> I, uh, I'm, good, baby. I'm very good. Thank you very much for being here, Dorothy. I'm happy to be here. You are uh, an author. You type words upon a page. I de- well, I um, write them. Ha- I handwrite my books. You handwrite your books, really? Mm-hmm. That's so interesting. Why do you do that? Is it e- easier for the ideas to flow? Well, because my books are really just my journey. Um, oh, mm-hmm. okay. So yeah. you publish your journal, almost like an Anne Frank situation. Um, sure. Well, you we haven't gotten published yet, but an author. What is an author really? Right, just someone who writes. So, oh, okay. You could be an author. I'm an author. So you're an unprofessional <laughs> author. I'm very. Pro- what is? I oh, got I, a suit right no, now. I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I know you are wearing the most beautiful tailored bespoke suit I've ever seen. I'm, I, I'm so sorry. I don't mean Thank to call you unprofessional. Sure. What do I mean? I mean non-professional? That's, see, you know, that sounds like you're lazy. I, I don't exactly. mean to be saying I'm, that. Oh, and I'm not lazy, baby. Not, I put in work. Okay? Non, non-published. Non-published. Okay, yeah, that's, right, a, that's a more right polite now. way of saying sure. it. Sure. Mm-hmm. But you are not a professional author. You're unprofessional. I'm wearing a suit. What you, do you I'm mean? So, yes, you are. Where did you get that thing, by the way? Um, At the men's warehouse. <laughs> the men's why, why get a... I would think that the first word there, uh, the men's warehouse, House would, would preclude, yeah, preclude you from Mm-mm. going inside. Dorothy ain't scared of nothing. Let me tell you mm. something. I go in the men's warehouse. I buy a man's suit. I cut the legs uh, to make a skirt. Oh, mm-hmm. how did how do you do that? You you I guess you cut them off so they're like jorts or I, I uh, those are jean shorts. I mean mm-hmm. shorts. Mm-hmm. What do you call suit shorts? Like cis shorts? Do they have suit shorts? <laughs> I think you're I the first one to ever look. Look, I cut I cut. Well, no, I buy full length pants. Cut the middle down the middle. So sew them back together to make a skirt. How and do you mean cut them down the middle? You mean the, so the inseam? So in the crop, the inseam. That's right. The mm-hmm. inseam. So and you just like, ooh, that's uh Right. 
That's a scary thought. That's like a John Wayne Bobbitt kind of thing. When I tell you, Dorothy ain't scared, baby. (laughs) Dorothy ain't scared of nothing, baby. So you cut them right down the inseam. Mm -hmm, That's right. And then you, why would you do that if you're making a a skirt out of it? Because you got to help yourself. And that's Uh, what my book is about. (laughs) Oh, okay. Let's get to it. The book, your book is about helping yourself. Yes. What is your book title? My book is Help Yourself. Help Yourself. Yes. Okay. You got to be succinct and direct. That's what a friend told me. Okay, for a title. Mm-hmm, that's okay, right. so are there any subtitles? Sometimes you'll see a title like, you know, Fire and Fury, sure. the, you know, best days of this person, you know, you know what I'm saying? Sure. It, you- yeah, it is titled How I Got Over the Death of My Husband Charles. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not know that you're okay. He passed, but my, I, you know, his, his memory is still alive and well, considering my last name is Charles. When he hmm. passed, I took his first name as my last. Oh, interesting. Sure. What was your previous uh, name? Did Johnson. You, Johnson. That was his surname or? Yes, that was his surname. Yes. Okay. So to keep his memory alive, because there are so many Johnsons. Sure. Not uh, that many Charles. That's what she said, though. No. <laughs> if you know, I love I, making that joke. I don't you know, know me. I don't know what you mean. You know me. You do like I that joke. I love that joke. I, never, I, I do know what you mean. I, I did. Do. My, my uh, producer warned you. Yeah. <laughs> In an email that when you came in that if I had sure. any opportunity to make that joke, I was sure. going to make it. So sure. thank you for going along with it. You got it, baby. Anything for you, Scott, baby. Anything for you, baby. So there are so many Johnsons out there in the world, but uh, Charles, that, that really makes his memory live on. Mm-hmm. That's right. And his name was spelled with four S's. Really? So, yes. Where? At the very end? Or at are they interspersed throughout uh, Charles? At the very end. At hmm. the very end. Um, so it's almost like a snake is saying it. Sure. Well, you know what? I don't like snakes too much myself because oh, really? I'm a God fearing woman. Oh, okay. And you, do you, you think snakes are uh, evil? Evil. Are, are snakes, and this is interesting because I've never seen this uh, talked about in religion. Sure. Are snakes created by God or are they created by Satan or are they the guise in which Satan disguises himself as he traverses upon this earth? The the very latter, the various <laughs> latter. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. interesting. Very- so, so, so they were. Not created at all. Mm-mm. They are, all snakes are just the devil in disguise. Sure, exactly. As Elvis once yes. said. Yes. Did Elvis say that? He's he said that uh, a woman was the devil in disguise. Oh, that that Elvis. He must have got his heart broke. <laughs> he would have done good to read my book, baby. Yes. Let's Let me, talk about the book. Sure. Sure. So your husband, how did he? How did he pass? He hung himself. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. My producers here are laughing. Uh, at uh, are you guys watching funny videos? What is going on here? I'm sorry, There's that's nothing this is a, funny about suicide. No, definitely and, uh, not. Yeah. Was it a Michael Hutchins type situation? Was it for pleasure or business? It, well, he wasn't too much of a have fun kind of guy, so I would say it was business. Okay, it was business. Yeah, he he knew business in the front and yeah, a party in the back. I know right. that one, baby. Yeah, I, know that I also one. Had emailed hip. you that. I'm, I'm hip. I'm yeah. hip. Okay, so uh, it was business. He knew that he had accomplished everything on this earth that he wanted to do. Oh, really? So it was just like, hey, I'm done. I'm out of here. It's like Dennis Miller crossing off of the jokes right. after he wasn't, Weekend Update. He wasn't a sad man. Right. He wasn't a sad man at all. Okay, that's And great. that's, you know. Charles touched, Johnson, Charles, a happy man. A happy man. And he hung himself. Because he was satisfied. <laughs> Yes, he was. He had accomplished everything he set out to do. Mm-hmm. Um, he married a beautiful woman. Now, I looked much better back then. You gotta. Oh, use really? Your how, how long ago was this that you got you were married? We got married in 1947. Oh my goodness, mm-hmm. that is uh, uh, 70 years ago. Uh huh. So you, you're a 90 year old woman or so, unless you were married very, very young. I'm I, about. I'm about 87. 87. About, oh, okay. So roughly. you were. Oh, okay. You were married at 17 years old. Mm-hmm. But you don't ask a woman her age, Scott. Of course, but. Baby, I sussed know, it out. Okay. I kind of context you clues you tri- it, you tri- and you told me. You tricked me. Well, okay, you tricked me. <laughs> you tricked me, baby. Okay, so uh, that's the thing: is you have to do for yourself what you want to get done. Mm. Charles had prayed to God to kill him. Mm. He, God didn't kill him, so right. he took his own life. So Charles was how old was he at the time? Who Charles were, at the time of his death was forty-two. Uh, so this was forty some odd years ago. <laughs> 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 so, so, okay, so he killed himself at 42, 40 years ago, and yeah. uh, mm-hmm. and and because at 42, he just had accomplished everything. Well, you know, uh, a wise man once said, you got to know when to leave the party. 
Mm, which and man was this? Do you remember? Larry King. Larry King, right, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. Larry King, when he was retiring from uh, Larry King Live, said mm -hmm. uh, the wise man told him. So maybe it wasn't Larry King, but I but heard But he it was from, passing it on. To me. Yeah. Um, and he said, you got to know when to leave the party. Charles knew it was time to leave the party. So he, he prayed to God to kill him. How was he hoping this would get done? Lightning strike or? Lightning. He had said, but God, please kill me, but don't do it in a car accident. Oh, okay, yeah, he because had, he didn't yeah. want it to be a car. That can be scary, right? Right, especially back uh, in in the eighties when this right. happened. Right, exactly. Uh, you know, safety standards weren't what they are now. Right. Certainly, we had undergone the Ralph Nader uh, Pinto right uh, issue, and seatbelts were standard. But right. uh, 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 car accidents at the time could be very, very frightening. Right, and he was that only thing Charles was scared of was a car accident. Mm. Uh, so, is, is it the car? Coming at him that w makes you go <laughs> the panic beforehand. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah the that's panic, a bad way to die. The panic. You don't want to be panicked before you die. So w he died. Would he very preferred peacefully. a slow, like cancer type situation, or did he want it to be just? He wanted it to just happen because with cancer right. you could cure cancer. Maybe not so much back then as well, you know. But mm -hmm. uh, he wanted. I was there when he did it. Uh, we kissed. Hmm. We said goodbye. Really? I watched him, and I. How, and you watched him. That's how gruesome. I know it. Was, it was gruesome, but at the same time very beautiful right yeah did I, you kick the chair out or no he did it by himself because he's one to help himself oh, okay. so again my book <laughs> getting uh, back to the book this is good help yeah. yourself a lot of people have said that um i haven't grieved properly yeah people it's been 45 uh, years yeah or so and it i'm seems. fine yeah, yeah and i'm doing fine um yeah. uh it's been 45 years and I didn't need people. People have suggested grief counseling and uh, therapy, and uh, you haven't done any. Uh, of that. You know, I, no, I don't need to do that. I journal. Mm. Um, mm. I journaled, and I wrote a, a, the book. is going to get published. Uh, mm. Right, it's in a um uh, in a, a, a little notebook, yeah. a little notebook that Charles had actually given me before he passed. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, very that's nice. That's a nice of him. like goodbye mm -hmm. gift. Yeah, it was you know like when you're leaving a job. You yeah, know, or like when you when you uh, are have gone to Portland for the weekend and you find something in an airplane shop or something like, oh, yeah. here's a little journal. L right, I, a little, yeah. yeah. That's and I'm really fine. nice. Um, you I'm, seem fine. You I'm, seem okay. I'm fine. Um, you seem great, actually. I'm doing great. Yeah, you seem I'm, good to me. I'm the happiest I've ever been. Yeah, I can tell. No. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah, and, uh, so I think I'm well equipped to advise people on how to help themselves. I think you are. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. You, you seem to have a good head on your shoulders yeah, to me. So. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, great. It's a good head. Um, yeah. Tell us about this book then, some of the tips that you have in yeah. Help Yourself. Um, yeah, you got to pre present challenges for yourself mm. because challenges create strength. Um, mm. If you can, you can get through a challenge. Um, so things. So I'll this is like the road rules, real world challenges. They create strength right. for the contestants who do oh, that. Yes. Or like sure. the Bachelor in Paradise. Oh, I uh, never. Anytime they would have a challenge, right. like a swim swimsuit modeling challenge or something like that, that right. they come out the other side a stronger person. Stronger per Sure. Mm. Any challenge. So um, first thing I uh, do is you got to get over your fear. That's the first mm. uh, chapter. Some would say Charles needed to get over that fear of car accidents, though. You know, and that's one thing I think his biggest regret in life was that he never got over that fear before he yeah, left. Yeah, that's, that's, that's the ultimate way to go. That's the way he should have gone. You know, and so as a result, let me tell you this, mm. he's scared of car accidents. I felt like I inherited some of that because he would tell me, you know, how scared he was. Mm -hmm. So he started playing images in my head. So chapter one, you got to get over your fear. To do that, what I did was I walked in traffic. Oh, I okay. Barefoot in traffic. Barefoot? Why mm -hmm. barefoot? That's so in such because an interesting choice. That's an extra, an extra. Uh, first of all, we're not even supposed to be wearing shoes. I heard human beings. <laughs> human beings are not supposed to be wearing shoes. I haven't. I haven't we wasn't heard that. made to wear shoes. Some sort of evolutionary capitalism. Um, um, right. Oh, so they invented shoes in order to make you spend money on oh, shoes. Oh, shoes. You don't need shoes, first They invented of all. shoes in order to make a human being feel like they didn't have shoes. Right. Exactly. Ugh. Think about, you got to think about that. Take your time with that one, baby. Yeah. So, Shoeless I, Joe Jackson. 
He, he's a guy who was ahead of his time. Who is Sho- Shoeless Joe Jackson? And you, and it seems like you would know this because you're so old, but he was a baseball player from the I don't early like on in the 20th century. I don't like sports. Century. Those oh, are fake really? challenges. Fake challenges. Right. Sports is fake challenges. You don't like any sport? No. We Real life challenges. Not even polo? No. No, I don't like polo. Hmm. All right. But I do like Ralph Lauren. Okay. Uh, yeah. What because, do you like about Ralph Lauren? Because as far as I remember, they have a little picture of a guy playing polo on most of their I shirts. Like, <laughs> I like I like the suits. I do like they make good suits. Mm, yeah, um, perfect to cut, to cut the inseams and turn into a skirt suit. Yeah, right. um, but uh, I walk. I was walking in traffic. I was going with my shoes at first, and mm. then I realized I don't need these shoes. You got to think about what do you really need, right? Right. And so I said I don't need the shoes. I walked. Barefoot. You know, we came into this world without shoes. I want to go up to heaven right, without him. Right, you know? right. Mm-hmm. And when I'm saying when Charles killed himself, he was barefoot. Good. Because you can't take your shoes with you no. to meet the maker. No. So was he was he completely naked? He was <laughs> butt ass naked. <laughs> Really? That Charles and you know like, I've I've heard that that you know when an unfortunate thing like this happens uh, a yep, human being tends to sure. defecate. I knew you was going to say it. And usually I, the the I underwear it. It forms a protective layer so it doesn't spatter all I over knew the ground. I was going to say it. Mm. I I left that room as it was. I still live in the house. Re- so you've kept it exactly the way it is. <laughs> Yes, I still, oh my gosh. because that is a challenge, you see. Right, yeah. That's a challenge. Can I live in a house where my husband killed himself and defecated Just all over the walls? All over. all over the walls, the floor. Yeah. Okay, so it seeped in and really made a, a name for itself, that doo in this room. You're an older woman. What, uh, what did people well, call? Well, I'm what, a young lady. Sure, I like to sure. See my, yeah. But what did people call doo back in the 50s? <laughs> uh, you know, we call it like shit or we call it ooh, caca. What ooh. did people call it back then? Uh. Uh, dirty brown, dirty, <laughs> dirty brown. Dirty yeah, brown. that's yeah. I think I've read that in, or the, the, they used to sing that in standards back mm-hmm. during the fifties. Did they? Sinatra would sing about the dirty brown. Exactly. I know. I feel like I know that song. Mm-hmm. Uh, or, or it would be um hard hard pee pee. Hard pee pee. Really? Okay. So I understand that because the normal pee pee is in a liquid form, mm-hmm. and this. Okay, got it. Uh, sure. So you so he, uh, you were not wearing shoes as you walked out into traffic. And, sure. And what happened? Um, I was getting honked at. I was being mm. called all kinds of names. I was rude people. Rude people. Don't they know you're trying to get over your fears? Yes. And, and, and that's the thing is everybody's too worried about them damn selves to be worried about mm. what's going on with another person. Right. Not a and, single person got out of the the car and said, "Excuse me, mother, are you all right?" No, not a single one. Mm. Not a single one. Heartless. And um, but that's okay. Because that's life. This couldn't have been in Los Angeles because uh, there's a different kind of person in Los Angeles. Very warm, caring people sure, on yeah, the roads. Exactly. Everyone here is very nice. Yeah. I, and as I, I, I was in an Uber, my Uber driver on my way here, very sweet man. Really? What was his deal? <laughs> um, his name was Jesus, actually. Jesus. Oh, mm-hmm. okay. But it was, the oddly enough... I was looking at the app on my phone. It wasn't spelled how you th- how you think Jesus is spelled. Uh normally it would be J E S U S. What what was it, it was spelled like? H E Y comma comma Z E U S. You got it. How, <laughs> exclamation point. How odd. Uh huh. That's very uh-huh. very. He was a white man. I know you was thinking he was Hispanic. This right, was with a, a big gray beard. Oh, white. He didn't even have a beard. Oh, interesting. <laughs> he didn't have a beard. Hmm. You know what? He was wearing a crop top and had a belly button piercing. Really? <laughs> what an interesting fellow. God, mm-hmm. I gotta get him in here at some point. Yeah, he was an overweight man, but he. Oh, okay. More what to you... love. I say more to love. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Have and have you had more to love since Charles uh, passed away? Have you have been in any relationships? No, no, absolutely. Mm. Charles would be furious mm. to know that I I would uh, lay with another man. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it seems like it's not really his uh, res- or problem anymore as he's uh, shuffled off this mortal coil. And- no, I still feel like he's around. You, you think know, he's a – like his spirit is here or he's a ghost? His body is still in the house. Oh, in the really? Room. <laughs> yeah. I, you didn't mention – okay, I, when you said you kept it exactly as – Yes, yes. As it, I uh, meant okay. exactly. That I, is – I mean, for I, 45 – years or so mm-hmm. that's uh is 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 it even a body anymore not so much it's dust he's dust on <laughs> yeah the, and, and bones i can i can only imagine it, it, it just the flesh would start slipping down and oh and i seen it i seen it because i was scared to look at it at first so i went yeah. in there every day i eat my breakfast in that room <laughs> to just to to get over your fear. Uh huh. Yeah. I wow. only wrote the first chapter so far of the book. <laughs> oh, 
That's you. How long is this chapter? This chapter is handwritten, uh, uh, sixty-one pages. Sixty-one pages. So, what yeah. do you think that is typed? About typed, two. Typed. That's probably about a hundred pages. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you write. You write very small. <laughs> okay. Interesting. So a long chapter. A that's lot of books are right. only like about three hundred pages or mm-hmm. so. So how many? Well, I, I anticipate this book's gonna be about uh probably. Uh, 17 chapters or so. Mm. The thing about it is, it's going to be a long book. That's going to be a see? tome, yeah. That's yeah, like it, uh, uh, the extended version of The Shining. Yeah, it's going to be a long book. Maybe but I mean The Stand. For people, yeah, that, maybe even that. You ever read that? No. Stephen King? You no. Ever, you ever read scary books? I don't read books by white people. Oh, okay. So which book, what's your favorite book? My favorite book is... Oh, hope, the audacity of uh, the audacity of what's that? Hope. Jim, hope, oh, help. Uh, who is Jim? Oh, I don't know. I I, I don't know this book, so I was just audacity coming up of with names. hope by Barack Obama. Oh, okay, yeah, that's a good book. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, so so when do you think you're going to finish this book then? Hopefully, uh, speaking of hope. Uh, yeah, exactly. you're a funny guy, Scott. Oh, thank you, you so much. I you know I really enjoy uh, you, Scott. You should do stand up. Oh, uh, no. I, I think the audience has agreed. Okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, you can't let them dictate what you do, baby, okay? You got to make true. your own life. That's true. I got to get over my, I, I guess I don't have um, as much a fear of it as a realization that people didn't enjoy it. Okay. 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 So you tried it before. I did it for a little while, okay. yeah. Okay. This, well, hold on. I need to be plugging in. Basically, book. my style would, I would go out there and I would interview the crowd and hope they said something kind of sexual, so I would say, that's what she said. <laughs> that's Oh, that's the whole bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting... And it, sometimes it would take a long time. So you would just be up there talking. Oh, yeah. It's okay. more of like a, like a, a you know, Phil a, Donahue style what? interview show. You okay. Know. Okay. Or yeah. a is there talk. is there a more modern reference than Phil Donahue? Uh, uh, Andy Cohen. Mm, okay, sure, yeah. I'll take it. And yeah, Cohen. so you do watch television shows about white people. Yeah, well, I only watch Real Housewives of Atlanta. Oh, okay, Not and unfortunately they insert they, him into it. They insert him, and there's one white woman on there, but yeah. I could overlook Do you it. just turn off the TV when, when her, and yes, then try I to guess? I turn the volume down, yes. <laughs> oh, you, turn, so, you, so turn, you're, you're okay looking at the picture. Oh, yeah, I don't mind. You're going to see white people in the world, baby. <laughs> they everywhere. I can't avoid white people. Yeah. But okay, uh, so the book is going to be long. Yeah. But it's because it's for people who really do want to help themselves. Yeah. Yeah. That's the book. It's going to be long. It's yeah. for pe- if you want to help yourself, you're going to do what it takes to help yourself. Definitely. How long has it taken you to write chapter one? Um, well, he passed. 45 years 45 or so ago. 45 years ago. Um, so 45 years? It took me. Well, I didn't start writing um, until uh, they, until 10 years after his death. Okay, and so realized, 35 years now. Yeah. Okay, so about... Uh, about what, half a page a year. Yeah, I mean, but these things take time. Sure, of course they didn't they do. write the Bible in a day. No, they certainly didn't. Right. I think it took about two thousand years. Is how right. long the Earth is exactly uh, how, how old the Earth is. Two thousand years for them to write the Bible. So right. think of, it might take. I, my one prayer is that I, I I live to write the end of this book. Yeah. Do you think you're going to get there? That's my question. I mean, if it's taking you 35 years to write one chapter and it's going to be 17 chapters, you got to start uh, just plowing through the others. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I'm I'm going to. Do you want to Do you want to start writing right now? Is there maybe yeah. I could maybe I could give you a prompt? <laughs> yeah. Or? G- yeah. Give me a prompt. Okay. Uh, let's see. Challenge. Let's see. The the first one is don't be afraid. Is that the first chapter? Getting that, over your fear. Getting over your fear. Sure. Okay. Uh, second piece of advice I would say is to uh, uh, then. Uh, and what was the title of the book again? <laughs> I'm forgetting the subject matter. Help yourself. Oh, help yourself. Yes. Oh, okay. Help yourself. Uh, Okay, uh, shoplifting. Why? Why shoplifting? Well, if you're helping yourself to things, I would imagine. Oh, that... I don't condone that kind oh, of behavior. Oh, okay. So, so, so how, how about uh, how about sin in general? Well, let me is, let me touch on the shoplifting thing. Okay. When I go to the men's warehouse to buy my suits, mm-hmm. and they say they having a sale, thirty percent off, yeah. I insist to pay the full hundred percent normal price. Really? I will. Yeah, because I'm not I'm not going to be mistook for a thief. Never. Right. Because so, there's always a, a chance that you walk outside of that store. 
and they they clamp the irons on you. They saying, clamp the like, irons. We need so that extra thirty. I give them. You can. It could be thirty percent off. It could be sixty percent off. You gonna get a hundred percent of the regular price. That's from a me. good tip. Okay. I can tell this them. is a chapter. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Because you got it. You got to be prepared. Thank you, Scott. Mm-hmm. Baby, this is good. You got to be prepared for what is to and come. And Sam, are you typing this? Okay. Good. Good. No. 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 Don't type it. Handwrite it. Handwrite it. Handwrite okay. it. Really <laughs> tiny. No. No. Don't. Don't. Really tiny. Don't type this because we can't have some pages. It's gonna be typed. That's that's true. Yeah, you want to. Yeah. Okay. You know, All right. It, keep going. Keep going. So, Just talk about. This. Yeah. So you got to be prepared for what's to come. Mm-hmm. Exactly. You take sixty percent off a suit at Men's Warehouse. You start to walk out. They gonna clamp the irons on you. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. there you are, like looking I like. I feel like thief. we're repeating ourselves. Now. <laughs> well, some of, you got to repeat. I I went to a. Oh, here's a, a new seminar. chapter. Repeat no, yourself. No, 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 no. I went to a seminar. You see, <laughs> okay. I went to a seminar. They said right. in order for a, a topic to really stick in a person's mind, mm-hmm. you gotta say it. Gotta say it over and over. That's what they say. Advertising three is three times. That's, That's why when Pepsi yeah, says, say, "What did you say? Take uh, a shit in the pot." Yeah, something like that. <laughs> what yeah. was it? Take a come. What was it? Uh, you know what? You don't, uh, you don't remember it, what was, it was come. Come by the house and take a shit. Come, come by, by the house, house and take, take a shit. A, come by the house and take a shit. Pepsi. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Is Pepsi supposed to make you poop? <laughs> I think it did the caffeine in it. Might. Okay. Oh know. yeah, that's true. You ever have like a, a cup of coffee in the morning and you just like you spend an hour in the bathroom? Yeah. Just doing a hard pee. Yeah, a hard a hard pee. A doo doo brown. Oh boy. Let me tell you something. Mm-hmm. I I once this could be go. a chapter. I think it could though because you don't have no peace unless you let go of the hard pee pee. I tell you something. Mm-hmm. When you is constipated, mm-hmm. it is hard to think. It's yeah. How can you it's even hard do it? To With, think. You know because it's like the butt is at the opposite of the body. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like the the head's over here. But the butt's the butt's at the like if the head is. Is it twelve o'clock? The butts at six. Uh huh. And if something's yeah. going on down there at six o'clock, you can't you can't get to twelve o'clock. Gotta get in to twelve. Gotta get. See, getting your body to just noon. Yeah. That's where you want to be. You I know? like this. You writing big this. handed twelve, little handed twelve. Yeah, y'all writing this down. You writing, writing this, this down? down? This is good. Because I just um I I'd just found out I got um yes. no we're not gonna co off. We're not gonna, okay yeah this even before I said I just said co and co- you cut it off because you're not the first to ask ask me okay that's just me trying to get in on your money yeah yeah I know. Because that's what the white man does is yeah. they try to get your money. But listen, yeah. I – you know, made me forget what the hell you I said was you were, say. You said, well, uh, we were, we were to a big hand at noon, little hand at noon. Yeah. And you, and you said that you were going to – that something happened to you. I don't know. I was constipated once for, for three weeks. Three, three weeks, weeks. I didn't poop. That is insane. I did not move my bowel. My bowel was, was at a standstill, mm. if you will. It was just like uh, a crossing guard had come over to your colon and been like, stop. Uh-huh, And because and- kids was crossing the street or something, right? Because yeah. the pee was coming out. Yeah. But the poop so those was, are the kids in this? The kids is the pee. In this analogy? And the poop is me. Okay. okay. <laughs> the poop is you, and the and and your butthole is the crossing guard, or I'm not. Really My bowels is the crossing. Oh, okay. The, the what, poop? Wh- where's your butthole? Is that like a car? No, my I, butthole's on like my butt. Like a passer <laughs> passerby. <laughs> oh, okay. Your butt butthole is just your butthole. Is yeah, it's on okay. my butt. So we're at we're at a we're at an intersection. Your butthole is there. Yeah, my butthole is. <laughs> my butthole is. There. I didn't go for a long time. Yeah. I couldn't think straight. Yeah. And uh, what I ended up doing was massaging my belly. Mm. Yeah, I massage my belly. Mm-hmm. Um, like a real, like a shiatsu massage, or just like a, a gentle rub. I don't rub. know who Swedish. Shiatsu. I don't know nobody Swedish. Mm. This is a down south regular old massage. Mm. Okay, got it. Like, I, like a creepy back rub. That's yeah, the kind I like to give to everyone rub? around the office. Oh, you gonna get yourself in trouble, baby? You been watching the news, honey? You gonna get in trouble? Time's I don't up. I watch the news. No. Time is up, right? Yep. Okay, mm-hmm. so baby, so look. I, I massaged my belly. Nothing happened. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So then I went and I walked in traffic again. Oh. And the fear. Just scared the shit the, out of you. The, literally. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I wonder if they've kept that intersection the exact way, that just the same way that you've kept you Charles' know how, bedroom. You know how the government is. They're always looking to clean stuff up so yeah. the local government can clean the street up. Yeah. Or, you know. That's a good tip. Disintegrated. Well, you know, uh, Dorothy Charles, uh, you're a fascinating person. We <laughs> need to, to go to a break. Do you think you can stick around uh, while we talk oh, to the I rest of our lo- guests? Oh, I would love to. Okay, great. Well, uh, mm-hmm. I, I find you fascinating yeah, what a wonderful outlook yeah. on life you have thank you baby. and you seem very well adjusted for everything that's happened in oh, your great. life I'm good with great. Yeah, okay. Very good. okay great very let's well go uh, to a break uh, sponsored by Pepsi of course and when we come back uh, we will have more comedy bang bang after this <laughs> hey everybody I want to talk to you about a uh, sponsor this week this episode of the show is brought to you by the all new season 
of Baskets, premiering Tuesday, January 23rd at 10 p.m. on FX. That's right. My old pal, Zach Galifianakis, Emmy-nominated for his dual roles as twin brothers Chip and Dale Baskets. That's right. And he won a couple of those things, too, alongside me. He didn't show up to the ceremony, but hey, we certainly mailed them to him. <laughs> Uh, Zachy, my dear boy, has been working really hard on this show, and he's very proud of it. Uh, and you know who else he's proud of? Not just himself. He's proud of Louis Anderson, uh, who is an amazing dude, in an Emmy-winning performance as Zach's twin roles as their mother, Christine. That's right, their mother? You've seen it by now. You know it. Yes, their mother. A slapstick comedy and family drama all at once. Baskets follows Chip Baskets' pursuit of his dream against all odds to be a respected clown. This season welcomes you to the Baskets family rodeo as the Baskets clan band together to run their own Bakersfield rodeo without any experience nor skills. You will see why the San Francisco Chronicle said it was comic genius. That's right. You were reading the San Francisco Chronicle... You read an article about baskets. It said it was comic genius, and you're like, I don't know why they would say this. Watch the show. Then you'll know why they said it. And also, you were reading Up Rocks, and it said it was unlike anything else on TV, and you were like, why would they say that? You're going to find out why they said it when you watch Baskets. Watch the all-new season of Baskets Tuesdays at 10. What else are you doing on a Tuesday, really? Tuesdays are boring. God, thank God Baskets is here. Watch it Tuesdays at 10, starting January 23rd on FX. <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we are back here. Dorothy Charles is here, author uh, Dorothy Charles, and she's been scribbling furiously this entire break and uh, just really getting some thoughts down on paper. I think you're going to finish this book. I definitely, if it is the book you're writing. I'm you know. not going to kill myself till I do. <laughs> so that's what you're waiting on. Mm -hmm. I was wondering why it didn't happen. Why, why you didn't decide to just go hand in hand with. Uh, well, because I wasn't ready to leave the you're party. Not ready. You, you ever go to the party with a spouse and you, you your spouse is ready that. to go. Right. I want to party. I want to take cocaine and just mm -hmm. be like raging all night. Right. And, and then yeah. your spouse is like, I'm, I want to get out of here. It's time to go to bed. Yeah. And so I you're was, the one who like you want to stay up uh, mm -hmm. 45 years past uh, Larry. Uh, what's it? What's, what was your Charles? Uh, that's what his, Charles. Sorry. Charles. Well, for some reason, I got Larry Charles in my head. Oh, boy. Come on now. Don't do <laughs> okay. my, don't do my man like that. <laughs> OK, so sorry. Like so sorry. So yeah. sorry. Apologize. That's OK, baby. Apologies to Charles. Uh, we need to get to our next guest. This is exciting. He is a 20 something. And he's from the great state of... Oh, that's of... not right, Scott. Nope. <laughs> sorry. The, uh, no, this is a, a, a totally different person. Yeah, this let me just get this out of the way, Scott. Let me just get this out of the way. I'll yeah. tell you who I am, because I've been sitting here in turmoil, Scott. Yeah. I am a whistleblower, You're Scott. You're a whistleblower. I apologize. How old are you? I, I didn't mean to call oh, you I'm not 20s. in my 20s, Scott. I am an experienced man, Scott. 30s? I'm in my 30s. Okay. <laughs> Early thirties? Early thirties. <laughs> okay. So now, just just out of your twenties. Just out of my twenties. Yeah, just on the other side. Yes, that's right. Now Scott. What and please let me let me yes, introduce yes, you please. if I may. Go uh, ahead, this is Scott. Leo Williams. Yes, my name is Leo Williams. And did, you, just, did you did you take your last name uh based on uh, a dead husband that you had? Now Scott. Hmm. <laughs> This has been a fun time. I know you guys are having fun. We actually, uh, you guys Dorothy are and I so are having a ball here You guys today. are having yeah, a straight up ball. Time. I mean, I do mm. agree that you should do stand-up, Scott. <laughs> Thank you so much. I want to see Scott do stand-up. I agree that you should do stand-up. But Scott, let me tell you why I'm here. Because okay. I'm, I'm furious right now. I'm coming in hot. You, Scott, I, you, I have never had a guest <laughs> this heated I've right been, out of the gate. I've been sitting here. When you've been interviewing Dorothy, I've been sitting here steam coming you, off my head. I, I know. Because I I'm coming that. in hot, Scott. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming in hot, Scott. Now, mm. Scott, I am an ex-member of a secret organization known as the Order of the Owl, Scott. The Order of the Owl. That's right. How interesting. Your now, I've never heard about this, but this, that's the very nature of a secret organization. It's a secret organization. It's a lot like the Illuminati, mm. just a different name. Mm. Oh, okay. So is it the Illuminati? It is the Illuminati. <laughs> okay. Ooh, you're going to be in trouble, baby. No, that's why I'm here. Now, Scott, the elephant in the room, mm. normally... You book an A-level celebrity guest for your show. Certainly. But you it. had some trouble this time, didn't you? Well, today I have Dorothy Charles, who's a, an author. Excuse I, me. I right. guess I didn't realize she was an unpublished right. author. But uh, Don Cheadle did cancel, did he not? Don Cheadle did cancel, I have to admit. I was so interested in talking about House of Pies. And, That's right. That's yeah. right. House of Pies. Great mm -hmm. show. Benny Schwab. Now, I 
He knew I was coming, Scott. Don Cheadle did. He knew I was coming. Is he part of the... the He's part of the Order of the, the Owls. Order Scott. of the Owls. The all-seeing seers in the night. Hoo-hoo! Hoo-hoo! hoo Scott! Now, don't say that too loud. Okay. Because if people hear the call of the owl... Is it hoo-hoo or just hootie-hoo? It's, because you said... Because, hoo- because that hoo-hoo. woman on Top Chef, she would say hootie-hoo in the, that in is, the market. Now is that, she part of this? Scott, that lady on Top Chef, she's part of the Order of the Owls. Oh, house, my Scott. goodness. Now, I... No, do not hooty hoo too loud because you okay. will attract okay, the wrong type of person. Right. Okay. Though, would it attract someone like Don Cheadle? Because we had a little trouble booking the show. Yes. Right? Don, well, maybe if you want him on the show, you should say hooty hoo more often. Okay. Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. But Scott, this Order of the Owl is a secret underworld of of sex and 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 crime mm. and mm. greed mm. and corruption, Scott. Oh my goodness. And this is the, uh, does it have the veneer of respectability with famous actors and, oh, and people of note? There's a veneer, Scott. Oh, okay. there is a veneer of respectability. Scott. Right, right. But underneath it all, it's dark. Scott. It's dark. Okay, now, so crime. You mentioned sex. You sex. mentioned crime. And do you remember the other Dorothy? Do you remember the other things he mentioned? Corruption. 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 That's a good. He yes. mentioned the seven deadly sins. Oh, okay. I don't recall I that. I didn't, but that's part of it. Too. Des, Des, all seven? Des, yes, all seven. Des gluttony? Des. That's true. Gluttony. Uh, pa- impatience. Mm-hmm. I don't know Having if that's a what bad it's attitude. Having a bad attitude. <laughs> I, think, I think most people know two of the seven. Well, and then, they just, yeah. then they just name annoyances they it's have. true. Mm-hmm. All, all we really know about the, the seven is uh, what's in the box. You know, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, the that's movie true. Seven. Oh that's boy, we can't, we can't watch that anymore. Can't we? Can't watch that anymore. Was we, is Spacey one of these uh, Order of the Owls? No, Spacey was not. He was not. But because they protect their own, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they protect their own. But right. you know who was? Who was? Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman. Oh, the, that's no. a good brother. The freckled black man himself. No. Is part of the Order of the Owls. Scott. From the now, bucket list? From the bucket list. Mm. Oh, from you, ever think, see, you ever see that, Dorothy? I didn't see that, but I look. Because it's got one white person it's in it. It's got a white person in but it. But you said it's hard to avoid him. Couldn't but, you just like close one you, eye? But that, but that would mean I have to have the DVD. When they were showing it in the theaters, you can't ask them to turn the volume down. Oh, whenever the other person white, talks? Sure. Yeah, got yeah. it. If yeah. you were in the Order, you could ask for whatever you wanted. What is this order? Oh, well, that's why I'm here, Scott. I need to expose this. Yes. Now, I was kicked out. You were kicked out of the order? Yeah. How long were you part of this order of? 28 days. About 28 days. Mm-hmm. So it was in February. It was a very quick month. Mm-hmm. They, they, they do a February. reassess at the end of the month, and they said, no, thank you. This was February 2017. February now, 2017. Yes. So you start, it's it's like now, renting the, an apartment. You yes. did it on the first. Now, then, the way I got in was. Did you get your security deposit back? <laughs> I did not get my security. Uh, let me explain, Scott. Okay. The way I got into the order was. I saved Colin Powell's life. Whoa! That's right. Is it only <laughs> brothers in this order? No, I- no. I I was associated with a lot of the black. Uh, they were the black squad. They called. They them. sort of have a wing. Yeah, yeah, they have a wing. I'm not black myself, but a lot of the other guys are black. Oh, what? What, <laughs> what, are, what are you? Exactly? What ethnicity are you, baby? <laughs> what am I? Oh, I'm Persian. <laughs> Okay, I, I guess yeah. I didn't see that coming I'm off you. Persia. My friends call me the Prince You're of Persia. You're from Persia? Yeah. The you know Persia ain't a place, right? <laughs> I'm sorry? You, okay. But you can, one can, you be, can be Persian. Persian. No, no, yeah, I'm not from Persia. I am Persian. <laughs> now, <clears throat> Scott... <laughs> Yes, I I, I'm sorry. So, You're Iranian. Yes. Okay. Uh, no, I'm not. A, listen, I'm Persian. All right, I can't get into. This Wait, where were you born? You I was born, Scott. I'm afraid to tell you that. Oh well, please, you know, get over your fears, Scott. Right, right now, I am. Right now, I'm. Hard, it's hard for me to release certain information on the podcast because I am on the run from the order of the. Okay, hour. is your name actually Leo Williams? <laughs> no, that is not my real name. Okay, what's your real name? <laughs> my real name is Leaf. Leave. <laughs> leave. Like, get out of here, no, leave? No, no, Or like, leaf. Like leaf. A, like, like, leaf you know, Garrett. Like, make like a tree. It's leaf. Leaf Garrett. But I cannot tell you my last name. You, Garrett, it, you just said, is no, Garrett no. your middle name? Isn't that a person named oh. Leaf Garrett? <laughs> there is a person named Leaf Garrett. Yeah. Is he yeah. white? Yes. He's, He's white. definitely you white. Would, yeah, you wouldn't know <laughs> you who that is. got a weird blind spot for white people, but <laughs> anyway. No, I see him. I mean, I see him. I don't hear him. Why? But you see me, and I'm Persian, so. <laughs> You're not white. <laughs> yeah. But that's true, I don't that's know true. if you're really Persian. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I'm 
I'm a person. <laughs> what has happened? I'm being persecuted here. Yeah, I, you have some. This is out of control. This is like an so odd version of racism. This is very strange. This black lady is pissing I'm black. I can't be racist. That's true. That's true. I can't be racist. Scott, Scott, we better not do that. Walking on the, me and Scott walking on, on that without shoes, with, with no without shoes. shoes. <laughs> but so which is okay? No, well, that part good, but you're gonna get hurt because the ground are icky, baby. Okay? <laughs> okay, that's right. So you were kicked out. That's right. Scott. You you the, you saved Colin Powell's life. How did this happen? Well, Colin Powell was on a New York City subway. I think it's weird. First of all, mm-hmm. his name is spelled. Colin. It's true. Mm-hmm. Which, we, which you think it would be the other way around. Like Pronounced he's Colin. he he his name is C O L O N and mm-hmm. he's saying, No, 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 it's Colin. It's mm-hmm, Colin. Mm-hmm. But instead, he's proud to say, No, my name is is this thing that shit passes ass. through. Because he's an ass. It's one of the weird <laughs> tricks ass. that Wait. the Order of the Owl likes to play on the rest of the public. Really? His name is Colin. His name is actually just Colin Everybody, Powell. When we're at the meetings, everyone calls him Colin Powell. And it, uh, can, is uh, uh Terrell Owens just Terrell? Terrell Owens. That's right. I think he's uh, uh, the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. His uh, his name is actually Tyrell. Ty- oh. Ty- oh, it's no. Tyrell Owens. Oh my. What about man. that dude in Fast and Furious? What's his name? The Rock. <laughs> Yes. Is he, he actually, Persian? He, no, he's black, actually. <laughs> he, no, I didn't know That's that. right. We hide. So you can watch I'm those watch movies, movies now. now. Go watch Moana. I have one to go see. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta watch Thank Moana. you, Scott. Central Intelligence. I'm excited. You can watch both of them now. I could go see. I didn't know he was black. That's now, a black man. You sure? He's black. Okay. Look All at right. God. Interesting. <laughs> now, Scott. All right. Yeah, so Colin Powell, where, said, what was the situation? He was on the New York City subway, oh. and I pushed him onto the tracks. You... <laughs> okay, that's right. So you saved his life after after endangering it. Yes, I did not like his policy decisions when he was Secretary of State. Specifically, which uh, Scott, if you want to get into the intricacies, <laughs> I of certainly US do. Policy. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Please list, okay, list okay. three examples of policies that you are not a fan of. <laughs> okay, first of all, I didn't like the tour uh, the tour mandate that he instituted on the White House. <laughs> okay, <laughs> too many tours, eight <laughs> tours a day. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you're you're not upset about his global policies. No, no. You're upset about he was, I didn't realize that came from the top yeah, as well. The Secretary of State has a lot of crazy sort of mm, responsibilities. Kind of, we can't get yeah. this is not why I'm here. I'm here to expose I the order. I beg your pardon. Expose the order. So you you saved his life and I, I didn't like him. I pushed him onto this was all a plan for me to infiltrate the order of the Oh, hour. okay. So I pushed him onto the tracks and then I jumped on and then I, I huddled him underneath it and the train ran above us and Wait I, a minute, you <laughs> Yeah. You covered him yes. to protect him from the train. Yes, to protect him from the train. I I kissed him very lightly on the forehead. <laughs> and I said, be safe, Colin. I have saved you from this train. Uh, interesting. I didn't realize if someone gets down there, on the, all you have to do is another human being yep. has to cover them mm-hmm. and shield them. I think that did happen with another person in New York in the 90s, and he got to guest star on SNL or something. Oh, okay. <laughs> that did Very really cool. You, you a fan of SNL? Yeah, I'm a huge fan of SNL. You'd maybe like some of it now, Dorothy. Some, well, I think I count <laughs> two black, three black people on there. Well, you got Keenan, you sure. got uh, Leslie. Pete Davidson is black. Dude. You got well, Michael. Is Pete black? Oh, yeah. No, he's gray. <laughs> you don't understand races, lady. You don't. You said you was from Persia. <laughs> Tell me about races. Do, can I blow, <laughs> do you want me to blow your mind right now? Blow it. I want everyone in the room to take out a dollar bill. Okay, here we go. Uh, I only have Bitcoin. I only take out have, a yeah. real dollar bill. I only is, have does a hundred count or no? It's got to be a dollar. It's got to be one dollar. Mm-hmm. I don't know that I have anything that small. Now I want you to look at the back of that dollar bill. Oh, here we go. Okay, mm-hmm. I go. Oh my uh, gosh, look at this. Now hold on, let me take it. No, so it's actually it, the front. It's actually the front. Oh, it's the front. Okay, I was gonna say there's a big I one on the back. Yes. Now on the top, there's good old uh, wood teeth. <laughs> there is. There's right good there. old wood teeth. But that, if you direct your attention good to the old chopper choppers, Georgie Wash Wash, we call them in the order. Look at that. But you, if you yeah, look, you avert your eyes. That's Dorothy. why I use Bitcoin. Yeah. Because hope, hopefully. When uh, Har- Harriet come out on that 20, though, ooh, mama going to be carrying 20s all day just long. Making it rain yeah. with those 20s. Uh-huh. In men's warehouse. I sure will be in <laughs> yeah. men's warehouse. 100%, baby. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I don't take no discounts. Mm-hmm. I don't need your discounts. Do we still need to be looking at yes. this? Yes. Okay. What do we got? Now, in the top right corner of the front, mm-hmm. above the one, yeah. if you look very, very, very closely, okay. all the way in, you might need a magnifying glass. Okay, there I have one a, right here. There is a little... Left t- by the kid detective. There is a little <laughs> tiny owl on the oh $1 God, bill. There it is. Everyone, audience at home, oh. I want you to take out your dollar bills and look at that. Hootie who? Hootie. 
Who? Scotch? Ooh, ooh, no, no, no. Who do you? Would you like for me to blow your mind one more time? Owls okay. are agents of the devil as well. That's, really? That's, I yeah. 100% agree with are you. Are all animals just... just uh, no, wait, they're, they're agents of the devil. So the devil is in disguise as snakes. And yes, but and then... But the, well, so gives the, orders to right, the, the owl, order of the yes, owls. Yes, the owl agents of... Because the owl gets the uh, the devil work. Have you ever, <laughs> have you ever oh, seen like so a snake true. slithering it's around and then an owl comes down and, and picks it up? Maybe mm-hmm. that's like yeah, Uber so for Satan. Well, exactly. Something like that. Or, you know, they, they get in them... They take 10% everything that the, the <laughs> snake does. Was Noah's Ark like a Satan cruise? Yeah, something like that. But, I mean, all animals ain't bad. I like puppies. <laughs> Just puppies. Oh. But how? what's the cutoff? When, when? they After they uh, hit two years of age, I don't want nothing to yeah, do with them. Yeah, kick them out. Mm-hmm. I've kicked out many a puppy. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just yeah. out on the streets? Oh, yeah. Somebody yeah. find that they got to get over their fears. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's talk about puppies because that's what's important right now. Are you okay. being sarcastic or no, are you I'm actually... coming in hot, Scott? Oh, oh I don't, Leaf, I don't know the difference Leaf between sarcasm. Got, got cool, and Scott. Now he's I hot cool again. down, and I'm coming back in hot. All right, Leaf. I'm gonna blow you my one more time, Scott. Yes, I want everyone to get to your Google machines right now. Okay, that's your computer. Yes, got and it. I want you to Google owl. Mm-hmm. In okay. the streets of Washington, D.C. Owl, is, does it have quotes around it or is it? Yeah, owl? you might want to quote it. Do okay. we need the prepositions? Um, owl, in, D.C., maybe streets. Is <laughs> You could probably do those four. Owl, right? those, yeah, those, those three four words. things. <laughs> D and C, I can't. Do it, does districts words. in Columbia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, if you search for that and you look at the uh, an aerial f- photo of the Capitol building, okay. you will see that the streets themselves are littered. Form. <laughs> they're, they're, I was just looking at the, I was looking at the litter. That, that's what littered. bugs me. They're really bad. Yeah. But they are also, they form the shape of an owl, Scott. <gasps> oh, my God. Now, take a look. Take a look. Did we pull it up on Google? Now, take a look, Scott. Look at this. This is like the, the this Scott. is like in From Hell when the streets of England have the pentagram. Scott, I want you to take a look over here that, that there is look a real that. owl what? in the streets a cult of Washington. That is true. Uh-huh. My God, look at that. Who do you Mm-mm. Who do you catch me in DC? Who? Hey, was that guy Barack uh, involved in the Barrick. order of the Barrack? Sorry, Barrick. it's Barrick. actually pronounced Barrack. Oh, boy. thank you. That's what she. <laughs> that's what she said. Yeah, that, there you go. <laughs> I you. told you could do that. Thank Good you. Good job, Scott. Baby. I thank like that you. joke. I like. It's that. actually uh, pronounced Barrack. Barrack Obama. <laughs> wow. How do you? How do you know so much about the order, Dorothy? Well, Trump. Wait, what was Tra- your husband's name? Charles. Charles. Charles, uh, what was it? What was the last Johnson? Charles Johnson. Johnson. Charles Johnson. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, yes. He, he was one of the founding fathers of the order. <gasps> oh my God! Plot twist. <gasps> this is an incredible turn. Plot twist. And, I know. You and know, you said he was hung. <laughs> he he hung himself. He was not. And he was butt naked when they killed him. When he hung himself. <laughs> Scott, we're in grave danger. <laughs> what is happening? We right are now? in grave. What is happening? Danger, we still Scott. have one guest left. Scott, okay, okay, maybe we, we can get through this. But Scott, we are in grave danger. If if your husband killed it, what was it? How many? What is it? Forty five years ago? It was forty five years ago. Mm-hmm. And the president God. right now is the forty fifth president. Oh, oh, but forty five, forty five. Oh my. Gosh. Oh my God. Oh my goodness! Oh my God, Scott! I don't know what it what? means, but it's very exciting. <laughs> we're in a lot of trouble, well, Scott. Scott, agents of the order may be breaking in here at any moment to okay. kill us. Order okay. of the Owls. I gotta say this to clear my husband's name. What they, yes, what they was founded. It was to provide community service to the community. Right. <laughs> they, that was they, the initial. It's become some corrupt organization. All it right. is is Once y'all started, sex and corruption. Oh, right. It's, it's Charles the, and I never had sex. You, so what? it is a wonder that uh, yeah. you never had sex. I've never had sex. Really? Why life. not? Because why? It's fun. <laughs> is it? Fun? It's fun. I had like when sex. it's happening, you're like, I this had is the most sex fun thing with ever. Charles. I've never had sex. It's it, it's fun. It, you should it, have it. I made a declaration. No. Would you have sex with a Persian fellow? <laughs> In his early 30s? He was too young, and his penis probably looked white. While you guys were having fun, I made a declaration. I had sex with Charles. What? He told me he was a virgin. He died 45 years ago. You're only in your early 30s. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. We commune with the dead at the order. What? This is what? insane. You had sex with my husband. For the one month I was there, the reason I was kicked out was I broke the rules. And I communed with the dead too early and I had sex with the founder. 
This is crazy. What? I have so many follow-ups, what? but we need to get to a break. Well, yes. tell me how it was. Oh, God, that's fine. Tell, we'll tell, yeah, tell, tell her how it was. It? Girl. <laughs> you just took a... Wait, you just... It what was, race are you? I'm Persian. It was good as hell, girl. Right, okay, look, we need to we need to get to a break. This is some confounding and astounding revelations here, but unfortunately, we are running out of time for follow up questions. Uh, uh, I hopefully no agent of the Order of Owls bursts in here before know, our Scott, show is done. Look, I have uh, a gun, and if anything happens, <laughs> I'll put just put it away. on the table. The, I know my show is open carry. Yeah, but, it is. But if anything but happens, I'll protect you guys. Okay, I'm right. scared of guns. I hold it to my head right now. Play Russian. <laughs> Wait. Okay, you please, go. please Slide don't. It please don't. Please. <laughs> Look, do it during the break. I don't want this to happen on air. All right. Look, we'll be right back with more Comedy Bang Bang. Uh, we'll have a 20-something after this. We'll be right back. <laughs> Breaking into comedy, it's messy? Uh, it's hard? Uh, it's intense? Uh, it's the subject of the HBO comedy series Crashing? That's right, Crashing is back. Pete Holmes, guest of this show, friend of the show, one would say. Saw him at a at a uh, saw him at a concert recently. What was? Oh, the National. And he said, "Aki, my boy," and he gave me a big hug. It feels good to get a hug from a gentleman. I loved it. Comic Pete Holmes stars in the show, and it's executive produced by Judd Apatow, another friend of the show. He didn't give me quite the 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 Aki my boy welcome that I expect from someone involved on this show last time I saw him. But uh, two great people. Crashing shows a realistic and honest depiction of starting out a comedy career in New York City. Okay, season one, Pete was broke, getting divorced from Lauren Lapkus, and trying to navigate the world of stand-up comedy. Season two... All of those things are still going on, but this year Pete explores the alternative comedy scene. He dabbles in romance, ooh la la, and expands his worldview, la la, ooh. Guest appearances include comic stars Whitney Cummings, friend of the show, Bill Burr. Did an improv show with him once, not a friend of the show though. David Tell, met him once, nice guy. Jeff Ross, personal friend, and Jamie Lee. Season two of Crashing premieres January 14th at 10.30 p.m. All of season one is available to stream on HBO. Get into it. <laughs> Let me ask a weird question. Um, does your business have any New Year's resolutions? This is a weird question, right? Because uh, people have New Year's resolutions. I don't know that, that a corporate entity can is even sentient. To have New Year's resolutions. I don't know. It's a weird question. Thought I'd throw it out there. It probably doesn't have an answer even really because it's impossible to have an answer because no, obviously they don't. But if they did, and I'm describing a universe where uh, buildings are sentient. It's a, I guess I'm describing the Toy Story universe. It is weird in Toy Story. All the toys are sentient and have personalities and come to life. What about the buildings they're all in? Are those also alive? Are they happy that people are inside them? And they're, and oh boy, you know, the same way that the toys are happy that the people are playing with them. I think the houses would be happy that, oh wow, a family is enjoying me. I don't know. Anyway, this is the universe I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Toy Story universe where everything is alive. Every every Everything that has molecules is alive. And a business, which sometimes is just an idea, honestly, but even those are alive. This, this is the universe I'm talking about. Here's an important New Year's resolution in that universe that a business, and in fact, your business, should consider. Make your hiring process more efficient and effective. Boom! Make that a New Year's resolution in this universe. Make your hiring process more efficient and effective. Okay, so now that you've made that resolution, business, how are you going to do it? Here's the tip. Let ZipRecruiter help. That's right, ZipRecruiter. No one, no one but ZipRecruiter has done a better job of transforming how you find the right talent than they have. ZipRecruiter, what does it do? In this universe and the Toy Story universe, 
ZipRecruiter posts your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards with just the click of a mouse, my dear boy. And in fact, only one of them. And then ZipRecruiter actively looks for the most qualified candidates and invites them to apply. Amazing. Amazing. They even review every application to identify the top candidates so you never miss a great match. That is why ZipRecruiter is different, right? Uh, Unlike those other hiring sites, which shall remain nameless, thank goodness, ZipRecruiter doesn't depend on the right candidates finding you. It finds them. No wonder 80%, four-fifths of employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate through the site in just one day. Click of a mouse, less than 24 hours later, boom, we got it. ZipRecruiter is the smartest way to hire. Find out today why ZipRecruiter has been used by businesses of all sizes, all all levels of sentience, and industries to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. And right now, my listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. That is right, free. Even if I didn't have a job, I'd go post on it because it's free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB. That is ZipRecruiter.com slash CBB. One more time, to try it for free, go to ZipRecruiter.com dot com slash cbb <laughs> comedy bang bang we're back here dorothy's put the gun away thankfully uh i just shoot it three times <laughs> <laughs> you did it's but i just wanted you know with the principle of Chekhov's gun people would be expecting it to go off you did it during the break it didn't nothing happened nothing happened. it might go off again no <laughs> no Chekhov's gun situation here i will say look uh we're uh we're here with dorothy charles author and of course uh leo leaf williams uh who's a, right. a whistleblower uh uh, and uh, talk to us about the Order of the Owls. Hopefully they will not be breaking in here at any point. Uh, but we do need to get to our next guest. Uh, he is a 20-something from the great uh, 50th state of Alaska. <laughs> Please welcome to the show Will Crow. Hello, Will. Hey. Uh, it's, it's, hi. Yeah, I'm Will, and I just hi, moved the, here. Okay. Hi. But, it's hi. Welcome to the show. I'm having – I hate it already. The show? No, being, <laughs> wait, being, wait, you're you're coming in hotter than <laughs> Leaf over here. I'm on fire. You really want to get something off your chest? Look, calm down. To say hello to our guest. This hi, is Dorothy. Hi, 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 hi. This is uh, Leo look, Leaf. Look, you look a person in the eye when you say hello. I'm just yeah. I'm, you're saying that to yourself because she's white. And you're or he's white. And you're not looking at him. I don't want to look. <laughs> And see what Look, I'm hearing. I got here uh, 36 hours ago, and I have been trying to date, and it is not <laughs> happening. Everything is different here in Alaska. You date in a very particular way, and here it's all different. Okay, okay. Let me see if I can figure this out. Because there's a lot of information in. I will in all say. That. I will say. I there's totally. More to come. I will say. I there's totally. More to come. I will say. I totally relate to that. Right. What a tease. There's more to come. Totally relate to that. It's so different. Okay. Wait. Where are you from, Leaf? Originally. Uh. Yeah. I've been through Alaska, but I okay. am, of course, Persian. Okay. But where are you from, baby? I can't get into all right, that. All right. I was, I was trying to try. Let's get back to uh, Will here. Will, you, why did you move here to date people? No, I moved because I work in the fish industry. And oh. Los Angeles, I don't know if you know, is blowing up fish wise. Really? I had no idea. Yeah. Are they all coming because of global warming? Uh, that Whatever you want to say. My dad was like, you, Will, you got to go. That's where it's all popping off. Mm-hmm. So I go, but I am 24, turning 25, and I haven't really laid down, you know, a, a wife type. And I was like, okay, new start. I'm coming to LA. So, yes, I had my first day in the office for fish. <laughs> what, what is the office? Yeah. Because are you a fisherman or are you someone who, who does spreadsheets about fish? I facilitate business related to fish. I don't exactly know what that means. Well, what the, You're like so a like, fish secretary? Not a secretary. I'm the boss. Oh, shit. You a fish boss. Okay. Fish boss? Yes. Yeah, fish, so like, fish boss. Fish <laughs> boss. <laughs> I don't know why we did that. Why did we do that? There's all types of business that fish could do. Fish could be your food. Fish can be decoration. Oh, wait, so you're like a temp <laughs> agency for fish? Uh, that's what it sounds like. I just like, like if somebody is in Los Angeles and they have something to get done with a the fish, they call me. <laughs> <laughs> how they, how, okay, they call you. What's a, go ahead and give your number out on air. 
one eight hundred fish fish B O S S fish 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 because you can't seven fish. D- yeah. digits. Oh oh, I yeah. see fish fish. Yeah. Oh, okay, so if they leave off the last H. Okay, you could just say numbers. fish fish because you know it doesn't matter what the last thing is and it's easier to remember. But it's actually fish fish. E- uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Got it, got it. So uh, so you moved here to be the boss, the CEO. It's popping off. Mm-hmm. Crushing it. Crushing it. How old? You're in your 20s? 36 hours. 25. Turning 25. When was this? When was what? When are you turning? In a month, you said? or? Uh, I didn't say it, but that is right. In a month, you're turning 25. Yeah. Okay. So you would that make you Pisces? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're very concerned with ages today, Scott. Because of fish? And it mm-hmm. works because I, I work in the fish, fish. business in Pisces. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's mm-hmm. amazing. Okay, so now you uh, you you seem like a catch. Uh, pardon the pun. Whoa! Uh, but uh, and and you say it's harder to date here in Los Angeles. I've been on two dates in the thirty six hours, hours I've been here. That's incredible. Okay, oh, I got on the apps. I set up dates, and we just all have different references. I rowboated up to a sweet little <laughs> lady, and she was like, "What is this? I don't swim." <laughs> okay. But did you have a, a safety jacket for for the lady? A life preserver? Sure. I did. Where did you row up to her? Yeah, was you? this in Venice? I said, Venice meet her at, uh, I said, meet me at the Santa Monica Pier. Okay. Oh, okay. And she thought we were just going to go on a walk or, or something. Or like one of the Ferris wheels yeah, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, I get out and I'm wearing fully, I'm wearing swimsuit trunks. <laughs> And swim trunks. <laughs> swim soup trunks. In, is that what they call it in Alaska? Swim they do. soup trunks? In Alaska, they take any opportunity to make a to word elongate. longer. elongate? Oh, okay. Mm. Mm-hmm. And and then, you know, uh, none of the customs were the same. She didn't pull out Customary the chair for me. Customary procedures, you mean? Yeah. She's supposed to pull out a chair for me. <laughs> and uh, she didn't ask me anything about my um, my family's history or anything. <laughs> On the okay. first day. She wanted to just get a drink and then go dancing. Really? Normally, I get coffee and go swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Was this at night or this is... Two in the afternoon. <laughs> she wanted to drink and to go dancing at two in the afternoon. She seems like she has the problem. Who picked the daytime? Was it... Who picked the daytime? I did because I was like, this is my lunch break. What are your office hours? <laughs> my office hours are 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. and then 3.30 to 5.30. Mm, so you picked two because it took you an hour to, to <laughs> rowboat over there? To get in the boat. Because I was in Hollywood. Oh, okay. <laughs> Where'd you park the boat in Hollywood? Where'd Where'd I- I- I have a, there's a little boat garage. Okay. <laughs> Sounds like a dream job. Did you set this up yourself? My job? Yeah. Yeah. You're the CEO. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. how did you find a place with a boat garage? <laughs> uh, I brought it with me. <laughs> <laughs> you wait, brought the office with you. And the garage. Oh my goodness. This is, I like wow. this kid. <laughs> you, okay. Now, now I have but a I, question. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah. So, um, you've been here for 36 hours, right? Yeah. And, uh, in Alaska, would you already be married by now? Like, it feels like you're jumping the gun on. All of my peers are married. Most people, it's their sweet 16 and then married. Yeah. Just very quickly. I just feel really behind. And hey, I don't need to go marry another Eskimo or something. Another one? You've yeah. been married before. I'm part Eskimo. You're part, oh, oh okay. Yeah. Did you guess that, Dorothy? I thought, I thought, well, no. I didn't know what that was. I didn't know what the hell. Because you're the only one with really an opinion on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> You can't deal with a Persian I, man. You can't deal with an Eskimo. I don't boy. look. I, where I'm from, I ain't got neither one of these two Persians or Where are you Eskimo. from, by the way? Down south. Oh, I see. Somewhere. Well, I'm not going to say my address. Around Mexico way? Around or? Mexico. Close to Mexico. Okay, got it. <laughs> So. Uh, um, so I'm so sorry. You've been on two dates, though. What was the other one? The other date was this morning for breakfast. Okay. Uh, I picked her up in my boat, and she thought this was a cute little romantic type thing. And okay. I said, no, this is a practical mode of <laughs> This is it. This is what day-to-day okay. living is going to be like. <laughs> and then I handed her a little guppy, and then she said, gross, and threw it back in the water. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Guppies are the flowers of Alaska. <laughs> I had no idea. And isn't I it- just feel like there's so much cultural confusion. You think we're on the same side of the American coast and that it wouldn't be so different, but I feel like I'm speaking a different language. And sometimes I am. Yeah, the Eskimo language. Inuit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Strange you wouldn't call it that. <laughs> well, well, you we- got to extend it. Yes. <laughs> the Eskimo yes. language. You're using the layman's uh, term for mm. it, which is very kind of you, but you can you just use what uh, your people call it. Wow. <laughs> 
Oh. Is that okay? I don't know. I Even I don't go that far as to say you're a people. That ain't good, Scott. That's not baby. good? I'm so sorry. Scott, no. baby, you're going to get in trouble. <laughs> you keep you guys to have I don't... advice for me and how I make it with these L.A. ladies? Get over your fears. Ooh. Yeah. You got what are you fears. afraid of? Yeah, what are you what afraid are you... of? I'm afraid that I'm going to be 25 and not have any prospects and just be king of the fish. <laughs> Whoa, you're king of the okay, fish? Okay, so I would say, if I could advise you, I'd say... Turn, wait till you turn 25 in a month's time. Get out there to the fish with a crown on your head. Mm-hmm. See what it's like to be king of the fish. <laughs> yeah. By the way, is this a, this is a monarchy established by the undersea kingdom, or uh, is this just a self-appointed title that you have? Well, well, I've been working out a couple. I tried prime minister of fish. Mm-hmm. I tried czar of fish. Mm-hmm. Um, and king just felt like it worked the best. Mm-hmm. And when so, you said try it, you mean... In my have, branding. Ha, oh, okay, okay. Have people oh, okay. call you that? And, yes, okay, yes. Okay. okay, but so in your branding now, you say, in a month, I will be king of the fish? <laughs> yeah, and then I put in little tinier letters, hope I'm not single. <laughs> right. Oh, baby. Yeah, Dorothy, you had something you wanted to ask? I, well, I just, I, I think you got it. You got some, your own fears that you need to get over. So yeah. my that's my one suggestion for you. Another thing you could try is walking in traffic barefoot. Mm. I would say that would... I mean, That's, you, that seems to to be your advice in a lot of situations. Just walk you are putting yourself in immediate danger. Right. If you could do that, I think you won't be scared of nothing else. Right. Or yeah. you could take this gun out of my pussy and try shooting yourself. <laughs> out of your what now? You gotta. See, that's some in, Alaska stuff she right there. She put the gun in her pussy. Stuff. <laughs> yeah, but see, I saw. Okay, I listen. I, I I watched Texas Chainsaw Massacre on silent, and uh, at the top of it, she pulled a gun out of pussy. That's so. right, oh, and I, it's the only place the owls don't check is the pussy. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I try just, putting this gun in in your butthole. <laughs> No, they check the butthole. Put in your. Bu- oh, you don't have a pussy. Well, right, oh right, man, whatever. This, yeah. Now I'm getting a little freaked out that the gun was hidden, but I'm okay. We're okay. We're fine. We're fine. Do you yeah. and your order of owls? Uh, you guys date? You guys hold any mixer social events? Well, uh, yeah, social there's... event technically, but you put on a mask and you basically all jerk off in different corners of a room. Oh. Or you could come fuck my husband because apparently he was fucking and I wasn't. Well, no, that makes me think. So in Alaska, we have a very particular set of bases, you know, like. Like mm-hmm. Oh, okay. What's first? What's first thing? base? First base is you jerk off in a circle. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that maybe fits. Okay. okay. I don't know a lot about Alaska. I just know maybe uh, Sarah Palin and and her uh, offspring. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brick She's is that is that one of the Palins? Brick, Brick? trick, tramp, <laughs> toop, stamp, clack clack, tupa, <laughs> foop. Hard trim pee? and big old truck. Oh, okay, she right. got creative with the last big one. Big old truck, <laughs> big old truck, Palin. So, <laughs> so uh, that's first base. First is just, base, yeah. Jerking Second out. base okay. is a handhold. A hand. Oh, okay. So going backwards is in. in <laughs> I think hand and holding is very intimate. It's true. That's true. It is intimate. The dirtiest part of the body. That's true. <laughs> so many germs. It's true. If you Just put your hand on a supermarket shopping cart, there is semen all mm-hmm. over yeah. that. Yeah. If we're not exactly. If I you're mean, ever like, if you ever have a, a Harley Davidson motorcycle. And you got to grip those handlebars. Vroom, vroom, Gross. Geez. Yeah, vroom, vroom. Exactly. Do you know, you know what I'm talking about. Do your hands smell like fish? <laughs> My hands do smell like fish. Let me, and women don't like let it. Let me smell your fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Those are oh. fishy fingers. Them some fish sticks. Them <laughs> some fish sticks. Can't tell if that's from the dates. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh, boy. I wish I got my hand in some vagina. Is that third base? <laughs> Your whole hand. Yeah, what's third base? <laughs> yeah, third Fisting base is vagina. left hand into the vagina, and fourth base is um, oral sex. Oh, okay. Now, what if you get a right hand in the vagina? That is, you're out. That's, that's a oh, yeah. ground, rule, ground rule double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's baseball. It's baseball. I don't oh, yeah. Like you don't like sports. I don't yeah. Like sports, baby. How do you even know what the bases mean then? Because you be out in the world and people be talking about bases. And you, <laughs> you, just you pick up things. In your I'm not a dummy. Eighty some odd years. Right. You know, in yeah. Alaska, we have a sport called fishball. Really? Really? Oh, I've heard about it's this. Just like is baseball, the fish the ball, you or you fish. use a fish to you hit use, the ball? <laughs> the fish dead or alive? <laughs> the fish is dead by the end. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. But to my question, do you use the fish to hit the ball, or it's is the ball? The ba- it's the ball. It's the ball. The fish Obviously, is the ball. Yes, please. So, sorry. Don't be an idiot, Scott. <laughs> sorry, you Canadian. 
You must Why are you so concerned <laughs> with what people are? Oh, we hate I Canadians. Need to know. We, we hate Canadians in Alaska. In Alaska. Why? Yeah. Why they're your neighbors to the because they think they're the so right. tough. But it's even colder in Alaska. They're like, oh, we 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 can. They do think there's a, they have the the log rolling and the mounties and all that mm-hmm. like Canadian lore. Meanwhile, what what do Alaskans have? We have. The hillies, which is mounties, but for hills, because really? Alaska only has mm-hmm. hills. Only has hills. Mm-hmm. I didn't know that. And, uh, and they ride little donkeys, is that we true? We ride little like donkeys. Like miniature donkeys? We ride tiny donkeys. Mm-hmm. And then um, everybody has their own polar bear. Everyone has a, I didn't oh, know polar that. polar bear. Oh, my gosh. Polar Ooh. bears are that rampant. So a family of five rampant. would have five Well, no, it's bears? really that humans are that not rampant. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Got Nobody it, so. really wants the polar bear. It's just kind of stalking behind them. It's like, Constantly. instead of having, like, uh, an annoying uncle, we got a polar bear. <laughs> right, Every so that family. makes for an awkward Thanksgiving. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Because they are always eating half the table. <laughs> like, the food on it, but also the full-on table. The full-on table. just chomp. I can't just believe chomp. y'all ain't scared of them polar bears. Do you you see- were the one who said go walk in traffic with no feet. Well, but I'm no just feet. saying. <laughs> Whatever it is. No, that. but I don't play with the devil. That's one thing I don't Polar do. bears, you polar think, bears are the devil? Polar bears are not the, the devil. Agents they're the white. Devil. At best, they're the agents of purgatory. <laughs> oh, was it? Purga who? <laughs> That's the middle space. Wait, you know what bases are, but you don't know what purgatory is? <laughs> I'm not a Catholic. <laughs> I'm not I a Catholic. Am, you know, pretty much all of Alaska is Catholic. Really? I did not know that. Good How interesting. You, yeah. do, do you want to recite one of your uh, catechisms now? or um, Which is that? <laughs> oh, so most <laughs> of Alaska you? with you as the exception. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay, got mm-hmm. it. I am Wait, yeah, Bataille. what is your religion? Your Bataille? <laughs> You mean Baha? <laughs> so we Baha. <laughs> Baha. In so we you, pronounce it Batai okay. in Alaska. Are you Persian too? <laughs> you must be, you Persian too? Yep, I'm from the United States you of know, Persia. I gotta say, a lot of your story is not especially adding up to me. Uh, I wanna I, see I'm curious what you know, you know, Will's like on a date. What yeah. you say when you get on the date? Sure. What do you say? Yeah. I, s- I ask them about their sales. Let's do a hypothetical. Okay, I'll sure. be your yeah, date. Do okay. okay. Um, hello, how are, are you? Are we in the, Are we here as well? Are we passersby? Are we, like, where is this date set? Um, Can you give well, me a location? I normally do it at, um, on a dock. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we're on a dock. I'll be the dock smith. <laughs> okay, great. I'll, I'll be, uh, your, uh, uh, subordinate. Handyman. Yeah. Yeah, okay. handyman. Okay. Okay, great. So I always start off, I go, you okay. look so nice. How do you feel about Paul? Parkas. All aboard! Oh, oh, <laughs> Can I sorry. fix something for you, <laughs> Doc yeah, Smith? Yeah, go get the rudders. Hi, my name is Sarah. What's your name? My name's Will. And okay. uh, I have a lot of big dogs, Alaskan Huskies. Do okay, this has started off very strange. I, I, <laughs> how do I feel about parkas? I, I feel fine about them. I'm trying to see if you would acclimate to my home of Alaska, because I am going back there after I become king of fish. Can, wait, can I interject <laughs> Please stand, well, I'm sorry, did you have something to say, Doc Smith? Please stand clear of the closing door. Okay, got it. <laughs> Hold on, nobody fucking move! Nobody move! What ah! the fuck? You oh. what, what, What's it? Leaf, what, what, what is happening? Somebody, okay, I, I don't happened? know if you guys noticed, but there was a man in here taking photos. Another married man you fucked? No. No, that was just Kevin. There was a man in here taking photos, and he was part... It's just Chef Kevin. Chef Kevin. What? He's not part of the order of the... I, he might be. I actually don't know. I don't know anything oh, about sorry, him. I thought... I've I, never spoken to him. I freaked out. I thought he was part of the order, and I thought maybe he was... No, no. It's just a man taking photos. You know him. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, as well as I know any You're good human friends with him? No, I wouldn't quite say that. <laughs> no? Okay. <laughs> I'd please stop putting that. Would he be like, a groomsman okay. in your wedding? <laughs> yeah, well, maybe a pallbearer. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. In your wedding? <laughs> yeah. There's a funeral at your wedding? <laughs> oh, shit, or, I'm so uh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry to interrupt. We had just done the the, uh, the uh, hypothetical, and you were about to ask a question, Scott. I'm you so are sorry. really rattled. But yeah, I just I don't want to die today, Scott. When do you want to die? When, when do you think you're done? <laughs> Six or seven years from now. See, you know when to leave the party. I don't right. want to stay Everybody too long. Know. Yeah. Well, when are you going to die? Um, well, it depends on if I get married or not. If I don't get married, I'm ready to die in a couple years. If I do get married, a couple more years. So, so four <laughs> years if you do get married. That, why would anyone want to marry you? Uh, you're... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I am loving. I know where all the best fish are. Where where are I'm they? I'm good at tennis. Where are they? Where are they? They're in lakes and rivers. None of that salt water shit. <laughs> <laughs> that 
that's the most basic information. <laughs> is, is it? What like, would you see, say? What would you say? What would you I say? I say the same thing. That's what I'm saying. Like, uh, when you say you know where all the best fish are, it seems like you would say somewhere specific, like a certain part of a river or a certain... The top! <laughs> the top of the river. All right. All right. I apologize. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, I, I'm sure that you're a wonderful person to date. Mm-hmm. What do you like in a relationship? Have you, have you been in one? Um, I, I've, I've been in a hookup situation, a purely sexual hookup situation oh, okay. for yeah. four Third years. Base, just oh, you've been in it for four years? Yeah, yeah. I just got out of, that's part of why I wanted to move. I was just like, I can't, everywhere yeah. I go in Alaska, I just think of her. Oh. I think of Vanessa. Who's Vanessa? Yeah, I just, everything reminds me of her. Was it the polar bear? The uh, okay, very funny. <laughs> I don't fuck up. Polar I'm trying to do bear. stand up. Maybe you should too. be doing stand up. Yeah. Yeah. I do think yeah. I we, should, maybe... we should do a duo act. Yeah, where I'll just say yeah. stuff like, um, "Hey, man, I got a really heavy thing to move here." <laughs> That's what say. she said. Yes, oh, yeah, awesome. Right. Like, yeah, like Sigmund and Freud. Oh, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, did you say Sigmund and Freud? <laughs> Maybe I did. I That's like a Freudian slip to say yeah, semen to say and Freud. Semen and Freud. Well, yeah. You try having a gun in your pussy for, for 20 minutes. <laughs> See if you don't have a Freudian slip. I did major in um, uh, abnormal psychology, so I know a lot of psychology references. You do? That's okay, tell thing. us something. That's another thing. Okay, um, how about Phineas Gage? You ever heard of him? He uh, no. got... A railroad pike stuck through his eye, Ooh. and it was a very interesting uh, uh, example of the parts of the brain that relate to personality because it goes through his brain, yeah. and he was fine afterwards in terms of he could function. He could function. But his personality was completely totally different. different. Was so was shows, he nicer or was no, he? No, he was mean. He was mean. a real asshole. So the sweet parts of your brain. Right I mean, behind your eye. You try getting a railroad pike stuck in your eye and see if you won't, don't snap at oh, people a, a little bit. Oh, a lot of crazy shit happens in Alaska. I've had all sorts of pikes in my body. <laughs> really? In my side, right through my right nipple. A strong Ow, young in man. In my sacrum. A strong young man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's you know I'm I'm I bring strength to a relationship. <laughs> I bring communication. I know where all the best fish are. Now, yeah, the, see now you're just listing things over. Could you date a vegetarian? <laughs> A pescatarian. You'd be okay with a pescatarian, but, but not a veg. No, because it seems like well, you're making a statement against my life. Half of the fish business I do is the death of fish. You know, is killing them, putting them in the little sushis or in. Wait, the- you, <laughs> you actually sushi. kill fish? You kill and you Sometimes make sushi. that's a whole wing of our business. How do you fish do it? Fish it. <laughs> How do you do it? Is it like depends on the meal you're making? Do you ever like if hang? you're making a fish head sandwich? I cut off that head and I put it. In <laughs> You, know? you behead a fish to That's make a, a fish head sandwich? Yeah. Classic yeah. Alaskan sandwich? Fish yes, head sandwich? yes. You guys got the Whopper? We got the fish head sandwich. <laughs> that can ask you a I, question. I had, I had a previous guest who liked uh, Whopper Junior, actually. and uh, We got a I, fish head baby is what I, yeah, we call it. I, yeah, I don't think that she would, or he, it was a he, I believe. I don't think he would enjoy going to Alaska. <laughs> Um, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You said you majored in... Uh, Abnormal psychology. Okay. The University he- of Juno. Okay, so you went to college oh. and then you decided to go into fish. It chose me. Mm. Really? How do you mean? Uh, in that my dad said, hey, <laughs> I, I have a big business of fish and you've grown up around this. Uh, there's a lot more fish by Alaska than there are people. Than there are crazy and then, people. Yeah, even smaller Ooh. is a number of crazy yeah. people. Alaskan people are very mentally sound. Mm. They are adjusted. They know how to uh, handle trauma in mm. their lives. You go, right. you traumatize an Alaskan, they go, I'm fine. So your book, Dorothy, would probably not sell well <laughs> not in Alaska. Yeah, they seem to have been able to help themselves yeah, in Alaska. Yeah, they figured it out. Because they have space in Alaska. Right. That's yeah. what it is. In 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 the contiguous states, there's too much uh, 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 people mm-hmm. next to you. You know. Yeah. So right. if if something happens to you in Alaska, you just go take a walk. You go take a walk. You go take a sled. You go <laughs> do whatever. Yeah. Take that a sounds, boat ride. Yeah, that sounds amazing to take yeah. a sled. If I was angry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Try to be angry on a sled. You can't. You just can't. It's fun. <laughs> do you need a hill for a sled, or can you just? You can flats. It's called cross cross country sledding. Oh, okay. It takes a lot more work in the chest yeah. and the arms. Mm. Okay. Well, you have really. I don't usually like white men, like or people, but you really sold yourself on me, and I would love to go on a date. With no. You. <laughs> oh my! Holy shit! No way! <laughs> Holy shit! No! What? No! What? Someone's throwing he's, them. He's spitting no on the way. ground. <laughs> Oh, wow, this ew, is very, you're very old messy. as hell. You're uh-huh. so old. <laughs> Holy crap. I'm 24. I bet you're 
pussy is so old. Oh, I mean, yes. no. I can fit a gun in there. Oh. No. No, no. Wow, you are so hot already. You're, you're, so hot. you're leaving hot. <laughs> you're leaving hot. Wow. Oh, wow. okay. No. I've, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dorothy. I'd rather kill myself in wow. two years than go on a date with you. He's no. marching around the room, punching oh the wall. This oh, is crazy. Jesus. This is nuts. He's gotten so upset. So <laughs> I've never seen anyone this mad on the show. Dorothy, this is very. This is an insult. I, I think it's a little bit of an insult to you. Yeah, Dorothy, I'm sorry we couldn't make a I'm love connection for you. insulted one bit. No, but I'm you got to put a, yourself out there. That's, I don't mean very offensively, brave. but... No. Oh, you don't mean it offensively? <laughs> <laughs> is that... Yeah. Never. All right. If all that's right. so. Well, guys. I'm not worried about it. We're, we're just about running out of time Thank here. God, I, because we're, I, we need to go. We need to get out of here. We need I to know. maybe go to Mexico. I, you know, Dorothy, you kept asking questions that started with who. I, I was afraid that <sighs> the order of the owls no, is going to burst in no, here. No, no, no. I will not. Who to who? Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, hey, just, just, just be quiet. Before, before we get out of here, we do have one last thing to do, and that is a little something called plugs. Got some things to say to Oh, there we go. That is Lick'em and Stick'em Plugs by Andy Brink. Thank you, Andy. And uh, if you have a plugs theme, you know what to do with it by now, I'm sure. All right, let's plug it up. Uh, obviously, Dorothy, uh, you probably want to plug your book. Mm-hmm. Um, help Yourself. Help Yourself. Yes. What was the subtitle of it? Uh, getting Over the Death of My Husband, <laughs> uh, Charles. Right. With four S's. Don't, I think there's a similarly titled book on Amazon, but mine isn't out just yet. Look out for it. Right. And your last name, if you're looking for the author, is Charles with four S's. Four S's. But yes. not like a snake. Not like a snake. No. no. Absolutely. Uh, hell no. Hell no. If this is not no. like in the Jungle Book, if it was, if it was Ka. No. No cars. No car. No boats. No no boats. <laughs> damn it. No motor cars. Not a single luxury. <laughs> not nothing. Just four S's. Simple right. S's. Got it. Lowercase. Got it. Anything else you want to plug? Anything uh, out there in the world that you see? Well, uh, yes. I heard that there's a show at the... Uh, the Upright Citizen Brigade uh, mm. Theater called Great Black Women and Then There's Me. It was directed by a wonderful white woman <laughs> named Allison Oh, my Rich. goodness. You should so, go see it. So you, that, that's a white person that you like? I don't know her, mm. but if she could <laughs> direct she gave a, a hand up. She, to, if she could direct a show about black women, she mm. must be a good white woman. Okay, good. Mm. And when is the show happening? Uh, uh, it's just very sporadically? S- sporadically throughout March, just, a couple, just a couple times it. in March. You know, just look for it. Keep your eyes peeled. Speaking peer. of March, you ever go on one of those? Uh, March or on Washington? Or any anything, just uh, even like a marching band? Well, or? I call, every time I walk in traffic, I call it a march. Yeah. <laughs> it's a march against fear. Mm. Yeah. Inspiring. Mm-hmm. Inspiring woman. Uh, all right. Uh, Leaf, uh, Leo uh, yes. Williams. Yes, Scott. What, what do you have to plug here? Well, um, I'm a, a, a co-producer on a, a, a web show called Mr. Student Body President. <laughs> you are. I am. What an interesting part of your resume that yeah, we didn't get to. We didn't want to get to that, but uh, yeah. my, my professional career, I, I worked on the show Mr. Student Body President. It comes out new episodes every week on Go90. It's a very, very funny show. Okay. Well, good luck to you. I didn't uh, know you were yeah, even in show yeah. business. No, no. And you know what? Thank you for letting me on to talk about the Order of the Owl. I think we okay. Think, weird plugs are not over yet. Right, but well, I just want to say that I think the whistle there, has been blown. It's so, out there. Thank you. Definitely, you cannot unblow a whistle. You can't unblow the whistle, Scotty. Mm-hmm. That's what she said. Very t- <laughs> All right, right, thank you. Set me up for yes, that one. You I got set it, you up. Wait, you got man. it, man. Classic Sigmund, Sigmund and Freud. Up, Classic Sigmund and Freud. <laughs> Sigmund and Freud. <laughs> Sigmund and Freud. Uh, Will, what do you have to plug here? Um, Fish Kings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 1-800-FISH-FISH for Fish Fist. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Check it out and also watch The Goldbergs and the new season of Drunk History. Mm, okay. And just because those are good shows. Good shows, And yeah. I bet lots of single women are watching mm-hmm. it and I can bond with them and understand how do you date a Los Angeles woman? How, sh- how What apps are you on? How do, you, how do people date you I'm if on, people are interested? Um, I'm on group. I'm on... <laughs> <laughs> 
School. I'm on school. I'm on couple. No E. I'm mm-hmm. on um, dozens of. Throw the net out. <laughs> These are Alaskan dating apps? <laughs> These yeah. are like fish Throw dating net, apps. But not pl- you ain't on plenty of fish. I'm not on plenty of fish because um, they only send you five matches a day. And I need numbers, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you got to throw that line out there if you want to hook mm-hmm. someone. Mm-hmm. And I am on hooker. <laughs> you're a, you're on hooker? That's a prostitution. That's, yeah, yeah, you don't want to be on that. I have sexual needs. <laughs> oh, okay. okay you want to know a thing about that. What are your needs? Left hand fisting? Oh, this boy Left William is going to try me again. <laughs> William, I was asking you if you wanted to go out to, with me to be you're polite. You're old. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I was just trying to be polite. Now, okay, sure. now I feel like you're... I, uh, this is me being transparent. <laughs> <laughs> now, William, I don't know how you are on the spectrum, but... I might be into possibly going on a date with you. Okay, hold before you're get- Persian. <laughs> oh, oh, whoa, racist! I was actually yeah, born in I'm Egypt. I'm racist. I'm, I'm Asian. You're born in Egypt. I'm Egyptian. <laughs> oh, okay. Even worse. Before we go, please tell Wait, us. We're not you- leaving yet. We got to close it. Uh, I, I want to plug. That's uh, it for today. No. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I want to so my much, name is Comedy for tuning Bateman. in. No, thank why? y'all for tuning in. No, it's we been still a pleasure. have to call. No, uh, stop we, it, Dorothy. We had Scott. Uh, <laughs> we had Leo Williams. Okay, had, look. And uh, as always, I plug the comi- Comedy Bang Bang Show on Netflix. Let's close up the old plug bag. Whoa, what a bag! It's time to open it. It's time. Yes. By the way, that is the new closing up the plug bag theme uh, that we recorded with uh, Ben Schwartz and uh, Horatio. And that is a remix by Eastman Presser. Eastman Presser, uh, I, I, on Twitter at least, I don't know if that's uh, his real name, but that's a, what an amazing remix. Thank you so much for that. that and was that's incredible. That's incredible. All right. So now you're saying before we go. <sighs> yes, I did want to propose that maybe. So you're proposing. <laughs> well, not, I'm proposing a notion. Okay, you you really got. <laughs> yeah, uh, I did jump you're proposing gun. a concept. <laughs> you're proposing a concept. <laughs> okay. That maybe maybe you're having t- trouble with women because maybe you might be interested in a man like myself. Oh. <sighs> Whoa. What do you think? Maybe. Yeah. I mean, I- maybe I'm interested in men, not you. <laughs> because, oh, but maybe because of the Egyptian. Maybe part of I it. am gay. Alaska is. Devastatingly homophobic. Oh, okay. okay. It's a yeah. really so maybe I'm maybe that's gay. why you moved to Los Angeles. Where do you live in Los Angeles? I live in um uh, my fish garage in Hollywood. <laughs> in West Hollywood? In, uh, nope, Central Hollywood. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> you are boy. Okay, good, good. good. Right. I mean, I'm new here. I didn't know the location. <laughs> okay. Maybe I'm maybe I'm gay, but definitely not for you, okay, a Persian. Okay. You know, okay. you'd be very insulting. But you could have just said no. I'm being real. It's part of my normal psychology. Maybe you can't. I'm going to just say it. Yeah. Maybe you can't find a woman because you are a hateful pussy. Whoa. Uh, No, I just hate age and race. (laughs) (laughs) Wow. I don't understand. There's a lot of young, not Persian people, Mm -hmm. but maybe I want to date the male ones. Okay. And you're definitely not in the order of the owls. Is that right? Uh, Yeah. is that right? <laughs> Mother! Oh, shit! <laughs> Everybody uh, run! All right, we'll see you next I'm time. Tree, fuck my husband. We've had a great I show. I know I will fuck my husband. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey everyone, thanks for listening. Remember, breaking into comedy is messy, it's hard, it's intense. It's the subject of the HBO comedy series Crashing. Starring comic Pete Holmes and executive produced by Judd Apatow, Crashing shows a realistic and honest depiction of starting out a comedy career in New York City. Season 2 of Crashing premieres January 14th at 10.30pm and all of Season 1 is available to stream on HBO. Get into it!